Hello. Stump Kitchen, Stump Kitchen, gluten-free, vegan eats, Stumptastic treats. Welcome to Stump Kitchen. Now you might be wondering, Alexis, why are you wearing those fancy earbuds in your episode? Let me tell you. I'm doing a long distance collaboration with my pal Emily, who I met at the Lucky Finn Project Weekend. And she is a culinary student. She also has a Lucky Finn. She made for me <laughs> a very elaborate, chef-inspired, vegan, gluten-free holiday extravaganza meal. And all she gave me was the list of ingredients and the list of materials I would need. I don't know what we're in for, but I'm so excited. Here we go. Happy holidays, everybody. My name is Chef Emily. We gotta start that again. Happy holidays, everybody. My name is Chef Emily. Hi, and Emily. Welcome to my kitchen. Thank you. To celebrate the holidays, we are gonna make a roasted root vegetable stuffed butternut squash. I have one. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Sitting on a bed of seasonal risotto, finished with a cranberry spice gastric. Oh, that sounds amazing. To start us off, we have to cut this bad boy in half. Oh. Okay. Using your fancy knife My skills. Cleaver. Very <laughs> carefully. Yeah. Very slowly. Slowly. It Jeez. takes a lot of effort. Yes, that's what the I was gonna is say. Raw. Oh, yeah, I did it. Boom. Oh yeah. And I have two. We have two. So using a spoon if you have it with I do. We're gonna just scoop out all the gook. Okay, hey, the gook. And the mush. And the mush. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't fast forward through it. Okay, I'll catch up. All right, Did it. once you have them both totally scooped out, yep. they're gonna go in an oven for at 350 for 60 minutes. But before, you should always rub a little bit of olive oil, whatever type you have. Okay. I'm using fancy truffle oil. What? I have and fancy no, yellow oil. Are not always just chocolate based. A truffle is also a mushroom. Yes, and pigs find them. I'm just gonna get in there, make sure you get all the surface area. Oh wow, okay. Get really I like how you're up. using your fin to... Hang on, uh, whoa. Right, now that our squash is in the oven, let's get working on the stuffing. You keep jumping ahead! Okay, let me, okay. Let me catch up, chef. Okay, now did you put your squash in face down or face up? Did you use parchment paper? I think you did, okay. I'm gonna do the face down. Is that is that okay, Emily? I don't know. Whew, okay. And what you're gonna need for this is one large carrot. One large carrot. One parsnip. One parsnip. And one to one and a half stalks of celery. One and a half stalks. Oh, all right. Well, let's start with the I carrot. have two, so I'll eat one. Now in school, sometimes I struggled with peeling. Oh, but yeah. what I've learned is that you just really gotta go slow with okay. it. Okay. Making sure to get all the grossness off. I'll show you what I do. I go like this. And now, using your chef knife. Hang on, you're going too fast. And one thing to remember: making sure to hold your chef knife right. You almost okay. use it like a claw. And with these carrots, you originally cut them into this right oh. here. This is called a batonet. Is this correct? Oh, you're doing very well. All right. So what we're going to do? Whoa, next, you're done. Hang on, pause. Cut. Wow, uh, you got skills, girl. Squeech, squeech. Let's get a bowl. I see what she did. She cut out all the boring bits. That's a good technique, my friend. Always cook with a garbage bowl. And we're gonna go into a dice, as well as the celery. Mine are different sizes. And next, Hopefully we're gonna do okay. the onion. Okay. Now, the best way to peel an onion, peel you should onion. always cut the bottom off first. What's the bottom? All right, once you're done peeling it, you're gonna to wanna to put the onion Wait. in half because we only need half of the stuffing. Okay. Meat. Hold your knife how I, I don't show know, you. cutting board. Oh and use that fin to keep that onion steady. And rock and rock. It makes a pretty good oh God, fine dang. dice. Try not to cry. The uh -oh. celery and onion are gonna be kept <laughs> separate. The only thing in the bowl should be your carrot and your Wait, parsnip. What? And we're just gonna do a quick drizzle on them. What did you take out of the Just bowl? a little bit. You don't Where's have to measure. Onion? You take the celery out? And using that fin, I just want you to bring it all the way around. Looks like you took the celery out. Give it a little out. fancy toss. And make oh, sure that each it? veggie gets a little bit of mm. oil on it. There's gonna be it's some celery good. in there. I don't know. And if you don't have any non-stick uh, sheets, you oh, can use parchment or whatever sheet. you have. So here we are. I just spread them around, and we're just gonna put Wait. this to the side for now. Wow, I feel like I want a cooking show. This is so rad. 
I think she said parchment, but I'm not sure. The next thing we need to prep Ooh. is our gluten-free whole grain bread. So now this is okay. the bulk of our stuffing. We're making stuffing. And we're gonna take this, and we need about two cups of cubed bread. My oh, what? Up. How like did you do that so quickly? How did you do that so fast, the Emily? Same tray, and they're going to go in at 425 for about 25 minutes, making sure to flip each one okay. about halfway. So through. no oil on the bread, just okay. All right, here we so go. Our squash just came out of the oven. We're going to wait. Let your it squash is cool, done. But then we're going to keep it afterwards. We're going to take a little pause. Okay. Okay, so I see what she did here. She took a little break. I'm gonna take a little break, let these cook, and I'll see you when they're done. Two hours later. Hi, I am back. I changed my pants because I was getting chilly. Also, in the middle of that, I went to Ethan's Christmas concert and it was so sweet. Anyway, in the meantime, my lovely partner took out the squash for me. It looks amazing. My bread and my veggies are all done too. Let's catch up with Chef Emily and see where she's at. If you take a look at our bread cubes, they have a nice golden brown color on them. Yes. So we're gonna take our parry knife, and a parry knife is just a smaller knife, and we're gonna go around smaller? the perimeter Ish. of our Good. squash, leaving about Kay. a centimeter or so. It's slippery and squishy. I'm just gonna score it. Like this? All right, and then we're gonna take that spoon, that same spoon. Oh. We're just gonna go in, loosen everything up. Okay. And try to keep it as nice as possible. Okay. I know I said perfection doesn't matter, it doesn't, no. but we're gonna try to cube the squash. Cube it. So try to make sure you're keeping the pieces pretty together. Okay. And then we're just gonna slowly pop these out. Oh, there we there's go. There's one. Okay. All right. Both oh, of my squash them. halves have been scooped Hang out. On, I have and to catch all cool. up. I'm gonna put these to the side. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. And with that squash that you scooped up, we Ready. reserved about one cup. We're just gonna roughly, boom, boom, oh. boom, chop it up. Chop it up. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect. No, it doesn't. That's right. That's the theme for the day. Uh, that's the theme and for my life. And this squash yeah. is gonna go into the same bowl. Yeah. as our carrots and parsnips and our bread cubes. That's all in the bowl now, oh, okay. Along with this, we have our celery and onion. Before we add it to the mix, we're gonna need to saute this up. So in this small Whoa. pan, we have squash in the bowl. Ah, Whoa. Good. All right, what's next? And we're at about a medium heat, and we're medium gonna put heat. our celery and onion in, and, and we're gonna cook just Oil? Until soft or till tender. So oh, that'll be about four minutes hot. now. Four to five Whoa. minutes. I'm coming. So our celery and onion just came off the stove top. A couple final ingredients for the rest of our stuffing. Sage and rosemary. And I absolutely love sage. Me too. I <sighs> love the smell. Maybe about three or four large leaves. Okay. I'm gonna go with four because I love one. Me too. Me too. This is called a chiffonade. Chiffonade. You're gonna take chiffonade. all the leaves together, stack them on top of okay. each other. And I know these are pretty thin, but we're gonna did try that. to my instinct. tightly, tightly, tightly wrap it up. Like a candy cane. And you're gonna take your knife. Yeah. And you're just gonna slowly rock back and forth. Ooh, yes. And then the rosemary, the mm. rosemary doesn't really need a chiffonade, but you need to make sure that you take it completely okay. off the stem. And okay. for my recipe, I use about one to two sprigs of rosemary. Okay. I'm just gonna pop those off. Okay, how do you, what are you doing? If it's a pretty large sprig, you really only need one. How do you, what are you, oh, you're just, I'm just doing the backwards, like, right. is that, oh, oops. Dropped it. Mince okay. this up real yeah. small. We're gonna take Wait. just a pinch or. Okay, so this is not what she was doing, but I'm gonna just like hold it and grate my nails against it backwards to kind of get the little um, things off of it. I already forget how you cut this, Emily, but I'm just gonna just gonna cut it real tiny. Sweet, 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 sweet. Now what? You know, a little shake of dry thyme. Dry thyme. There we go. I, I have that. Here we and go. then the final thing. We're going to take here. some vegetable stock and Shake just slowly time. pour it in. You don't need that much. I know I'm not measuring necessarily. Um, this You're is not, just I love to it. see. Whoop. 
how moist you need it. So you're gonna mix it around. With this in it too? Yeah, we're gonna put that in it Use too. Use that stump to mix. Okay, I will. Here it comes. And then you're gonna finish it off with a little bit of salt and pepper. Here's some veggie broth. Okay, let's get to stuffing. <laughs> Before you Wait, put anything still in, mixing. you're gonna wanna take your salt, hit the squash with just a little bit. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, Why salt. we do this is that salt takes out moisture. Oh. So we'll make sure to keep our squash pretty crisp that on the outside. Is that why salt baths are good? They soak up the All moisture? Right. And you're gonna take oh. our beautiful stuffing, and we're just gonna scoop right into the in, squash. Right in. Now you wanna pack kinda it pack it in there. Okay. Pretty compact in Kay. there. This is a fun part. Takes yeah, lots of skill. I'm Get coming. ready. One. One. Two. Three. Three. <laughs> Look at there this we hamburger go. we made. A super it fun is. part. We're gonna truss our truss butternut it. squash. Truss it. Okay. First, what truss we need to do, string. using your butcher's twine or this whatever you twine. have. Oh, there's too much. First, it's gonna make a yeah. simple knot. Underneath. Right here okay. at the top. So you go underneath and you make a simple knot. I need to. You want to make it fairly tight if you can. Tight? Okay. And then you're going to do it one more time. And it's okay if it's a little loose, totally fine. We want to double knot it right here. I love how you're making us limb difference folks tie a big knot. It's great. Feel free to grab a sous chef to help you out with this that's step. That's a good idea. This can be a two person job. I don't job. have one right now, but this that's a really good idea. All right. Got my double knot. You're going to let this short one hang over. You're gonna make a loop. Excuse me? Did you see that? You're gonna make a, like lasso it like okay. a cowboy. <laughs> You're gonna bring it underneath the squash, shimmy it down. Shimmy it down. And yes, you need to do the dance move with it. Shimmy it down. And really tighten <gasps> it up. That is so cool. No, there's no knot for this. You're just gonna do it again. Thank you. You're, you're doing the fast thing again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, lasso the stump. Uh, lasso the stump and shimmy it down. Oops. And shimmy it down. And squeeze it tight. Is this like how you tie up meat? Whoa, that's a tight squash. All right, let's see what's next, Chef Emily. We're letting our butternut squash that's already been stuffed, we're gonna let it set. We're gonna make our cranberry gastrique. Okay. In order to do so, oh, our cranberry you need three ounces cheek. of dried cranberry, okay. a quarter cup of sugar, a pinch of allspice, a pinch of cloves, need a, bowl too. Uh, a half a teaspoon or so of orange zest, and three quarters of a cup of sherry vinegar. Is this three ounces? And I'm just going to put this at How a much do you have? high, closer to high heat. Wait, what else do you put just in? Just to get it going. And everything gets dumped in in the same there pot. There's orange. Super Kay. easy. Just hang on. Oh no! Doing the chicken wing over here. Use your stump to scrape it up. <coughs> My all time favorite part of this dish is that cranberry risotto. <coughs> and in my bowl already. <coughs> oh my gosh. I had a little bit left over from the stuffing. Quarter of a, you know, a small onion or so. I got onto some garlic. Go. I always love using fresh garlic instead of canned. Oh, cool. Can you can get canned but, garlic? Ooh, oh, I want to do that. Scoop all that right into the same bowl okay. with my onion. Now nothing else should go in this bowl because this is going to be like step one of our risotto. Okay. But the next thing we're going to need is about a half a cup or so of dried cranberries. Okay. I think a half a cup is pretty good. In this, we're just gonna give a rough Okay. Chop. Rough chop. Oh, they're very sticky. Emily, they're very sticky. Super fun. They stick to my knife. I didn't have a lot of walnuts, so I had to find walnuts and almonds in a mix that I have hiding under the sink because Allison's allergic to them and I only eat them on Wednesdays because that's my nut day. You're gonna kitchen use your hammer. kitchen hammer. Oh, okay. I have this. Oh, okay, here, okay. Ah! You are now my kitchen hammer. All right, so on my stove top now, I have oh, about I have four that to six warmed. cups of vegetable also, stock warming up. Where does the onion and celery I have go? About was two I supposed to put that in the stuffing? Spread. I think this I was. For toasting our arborio rice. Oops. And I have that cranberry gastric simmering away. I need to get organized. So what I'm gonna do Just now wait, is wait. Continue. Yeah, I totally didn't put the onions and the celery in the stuffing, so we're gonna stick it in the risotto. 
I think. I don't know. Snack. One Sorry. cup of our boreal rice. Slowly add One it into the rice. pan. Okay. And we're doing this to toast, toast the rice. The and rice. And add to the rice. In the and I'm at about a medium, medium, okay, high medium, medium, medium high. Okay, medium, medium, high. Okay. Toast. Once you toasted, think it's toasted, toasted, enough, toasted, toasted. We're gonna go in and add our onion and our garlic. Onion and garlic. And you're gonna let this cook for about two. two minutes. If you hear that snapping and the crackle, I do. That's good. Snapping. That means that you're removing some of that moisture out of the arborial rice. The next thing I'm gonna do, this is called deglazing. We're gonna deglaze, deglaze. our pan. And okay. I have about a quarter of a cup of white wine. Any type of wine white will do. Wine. And we're just gonna slowly, be careful with this, we're gonna slowly add this it. This is de-alcoholized white wine. And it's gonna sizzle. Ugh. Quarter cup. We're gonna let all that wine burn out. Okay, burning out. I'm using a ladle. Woo! I'm gonna Woo! slowly add in one scoop at a time, so maybe about half cup increments. Slowly add in my vegetable okay. stock into the pan. Ladle? Do I have a label? I don't have a label. And make sure you're constantly mixing. With risotto, this is constantly. going to take about 30 minutes, and it constantly okay. needs to be mixed. As you can see, I'm constantly Constantly. Mixing. No rest And it's okay to simmer it up a bit. That's good. Mix, All right, so mix, once you get mix, that first mix, couple stocking, you want to know the secret ingredient? Yeah. It's love. Secret ingredient is love. You need to add love into oh. your risotto. Otherwise, I love it won't you, work. risotto. I love you so much. And once it looks a little dry, that's when you can go in and add another scoop, another half I cup or so, so of stock. Risotto. Once you think you got a pretty good start with this risotto, now's the time you're going to want to throw in the squash back in the oven. We at throw 350 it in? for about 25 oh, to 45 minutes back. until ah. it's pretty golden at the top. All right, so my cranberry gastrique just came off the stove top. It took about 30 minutes to thicken up and you will lose a lot of that liquid. And I just transferred it over. I'm gonna put it in a little processor okay. and blend mix it. it up and blend it for Ooh. about a minute or so. Whoa. Blend it up, blend it up, blend it, blend it, blend it up. Once you think your risottos had a pretty good consistency. Your risotto looks amazing. About a spoon or so of Earth Balance. Yeah. This is what I did right now. It's gonna add a little bit more of a creamy texture to it. You're gonna add about a half a cup or so of vegan mozzarella cheese. I have that. I have vegan Parmesan. That right Hopefully that'll be fun. Boom. Feel free to add a little more. Not the whole bag. <laughs> Save you know me, Emily. You know that I would put the whole bag in. Go. For the finishing touches on this risotto, I'm adding our half a cup of cranberries as well as our half a, half a cup of oh, chopped walnuts, yay. or crushed walnuts, that is. A dash or so of each. I've got nutmeg. 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 A nutmeg. little bit of allspice. Allspice? You mean the stamp bomb technique? How about that, 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 that? A little bit of ground white pepper if you want. I don't have white black. pepper. Work. Oh, I just prefer white because oh, we don't see the black fancy. Specs. As well as dried basil. Basil, 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 basil. To plate up all three components. Bam. Take one spoonful. Plating. Of your gastric. Put it right on the gastric. side. And then you take the back okay. of your spoon and just. Whoosh. That's it. Back of. It's fancy, I know. Whoa! So that Did then you it? could put your risotto oh. here. Or one of my favorites. Or there's another option. Let's take about the same amount okay, of sauce. Let me get another plate. Put it in a similar spot. Like that. And all you do is bring it over. You keep going around and around and around and around. It makes a fun little. It's not the same. <laughs> Everything is very abstract. You can do really whatever pretty. you want. You can splatter it. Splatter it. However you want to use the sauce, feel free. Splatter, now for splatter, the risotto, splatter, splatter, splatter. I want to oh, make risotto. a bed for my butternut squash. So you're just gonna mound it up on your spoon and just kind of one, two, three, one, plop. two, and you could either three, do it on the side plop. or in one, the middle, whatever two, you're feeling. Three. Our stuffed Plop. butternut squash oh, just came out of the oven. I let it sit for a little bit. All you need to do is undo the crossing. How do I undo it? Wait, how did you do that so quickly? It's so hot! I'm just gonna cut it out. Ah. Ah. And we're gonna cut it ah. into ah. half that inch slices. or one inch slices, whatever you prefer. Oh and there God. you have it. Yes. Soft so exciting. Squash filled yeah. with gluten free That's bread. Look! Really awesome winter vegetables. Mine almost looks like yours! Gastrique. 
as well as our cranberry oh. risotto. Thank you guys so yes. much for watching. And we made this. Thank you. I love this so much. You're awesome. That was the absolute best. You are such a good teacher, Emily. Here we go. I'm going to take a bite and see. Ah, pardon me. I'm going to take a bite and see how we did. Oh my goodness. This is like holiday on a plate. Like this is so good. Like the sweetness from the gastrique and the savory from the stuffing and the risotto. Oh my gosh. I want to roll in it. I want to bathe in it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and the bottom of my stump. Like this was the most fantastic experience. I learned so much from your great techniques and just how you can create such a beautiful meal in not that much time. Like it was pretty straightforward. It was just like the cook time. It's so tasty and completely vegan and gluten-free. Like you rock my world. My holiday belly is so happy. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to Stump Kitchen on YouTube. You can also support Stump Kitchen on Patreon. I hope you have a warm and happy holiday. We'll see you next time on Stump Kitchen. Bye. Stump Kitchen, Stump Kitchen. Gluten-free, vegan, eats stumptastic treats. Oh, I still have my cool ear pieces on. Save the risotto.